Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Y'all, I'm such in a good mood because I'm currently parked outside my nail girly, my nail appointment. I'm getting my nails done. I need to get my nails done. I much need some little mom, mommy time because last month I couldn't get my nails done because I don't remember what happened. My daughter was sick, so I literally canceled my nail tech last minute and I freaking love her. I freaking love her because she is literally the best um but anyways i was like let me open up my vlog because i was gonna start this vlog earlier today but um it was chaotic this morning my daughter was not having it she did not wake up in a good mood she's been teething y'all and this mama right here was rushing out the door i was planning on doing my makeup even just retouching myself a little bit because yeah and my daughter was not having it so it was a little bit chaotic i was running super late well not super late but i was kind of a little bit like i was planning on leaving my house at exactly 11 a.m i left my house at 12 y'all my null appointment is at 2 my mom lives like 30 minutes away so and it was a little bit of traffic i was like stressing and but yeah um we made it on time i actually dropped off my daughter already at my mom's house she's with her grandma and but y'all i am super super excited because on monday my daughter turns one and then that week on saturday we're gonna throw her big day her birthday party i'm super excited i was actually a little bit stressing and nervous about the weather i was stressing a little bit because on the weather app it said it was gonna rain on saturday and i'm like oh my god like if it rains i'm gonna have to cancel the party like text everybody that i invited to that i'm gonna cancel it and then I'm going to have to cancel the clown because we actually got a clown. Well, we got two clowns for that day, I guess, so they can entertain the party. Well, my husband hired them for that day. And I'm like, okay, we're going to have to cancel the clown. We're going to have to cancel the chairs and table people. We're going to have to cancel the cake. It's just going to be chaotic. So I was so worried about the weather. And then my aunt, she actually decorates for parties. I actually hired my aunt to decorate for my daughter's birthday party. And she requested already that day at work um, so she could decorate for my daughter's birthday party that morning. And I'm, I'm just stressing. Well, I was stressing. But now I checked the weather app last night. And it said that's not going to rain that day. But it's going to be a little bit cold. So I don't mind be, I don't mind it being cold. I just don't want it to rain. But yeah, hopefully I'm just keeping my finger crossed. It does not rain because I don't feel like I don't want to cancel it. I don't want to have... I don't want to cancel the party and have to postpone it for like the following weekend you know because in april it does rain a lot here in dallas so i remember last year when i gave birth the day we actually left the hospital it was pouring rain like it was raining so bad so yeah i'm like oh my god my daughter was born in spring but in spring it kind of rains a lot i'm not sure but anyways i made my coffee at home because there's no way i had there was no way i was gonna stop by for some coffee wait in the line and i was already running late so Okay, y'all, I just got home. Um, look at my nails. Ahora sí les voy a enseñar mis uñas. They look super cute. I actually got them longer this time because I'm like, you know what? Let me get them back a little bit longer because before I even had my daughter, I would get my nails super long, super cute, super extra. And I feel like once I had my daughter, of course, I couldn't really get them as long just because, yeah, I don't think having long nails with the newborn is a good idea. But now that I, of course, I've gotten used to changing her diaper with nails, giving her a bath with nails, changing her really bad blowouts with nails, bathing her, feeding her, changing her. I pretty much already got used to it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get them a little bit longer. My eyebrows are looking super bad. Look at that, y'all. I need to get my eyebrows done. And that's pretty much it. But I just got here at my mom's house. Y ahorita ya me voy a bajar. Uh, my daughter's here. We're gonna go eat. I'm starving. I'm like starving, y'all. I'm starving. Like I can feel it in my stomach. Like, my stomach feels empty. But let me go ahead and get off, y'all. And then I might catch up with y'all once we're at the mall. Okay, y'all. So we came to Townies. I ordered a deluxe sandwich with fries. I ordered baby girl some mac and cheese. Dia's gonna feed you. So my sister's gonna feed my sis my daughter for me because <laughs> I am starving. And then I got some fries to share with baby girl. And then I brought some little Wait, snacks man. on the side. Oh. And then these are my, oh, I ordered barbecue. They forgot to give me barbecue. It's okay. But yeah, this is my sandwich. Um, but I just got an Amazon order. I got a few things I ordered for my daughter's birthday. Hi, mommy. You want to say hi? Say hola. <laughs> hola. So... 
Okay, y'all. So, I ordered a few things for my daughter's birthday party. Okay, y'all. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to put a picture of the balloon color I ordered. I ordered light pink. But look at the color they came in. These are two dogs. This is like a hot pink. But it says light pink. I don't know if you guys could read it. Or it says light pink somewhere around there. And I'm not sure. I'm going to try to open. I'm going to blow one. And then I'm going to see if maybe it gets lighter with the air. I'm not sure. Because you know when you usually blow balloons, um, they get lighter, I guess. Like, they look lighter. So maybe this is the color, but they just look dark just because they're all, like, apachurraditos ahí. But yeah, I ordered the balloons for the balloon arch, whatever it's called. And I ordered the table runners, the light pink. This is going to be the color for party because I don't really like how the hot pink looks for a baby's first birthday, in my personal opinion. But this is the color light pink. So I ordered in total 10 table runners because it's going to be 10 guest tables. And I also did order this tool because it's going to go inside the um, centerpieces. Um, also, I did order baby girl's um, shoes. So, I already had ordered her some shoes, but they were too big because I ordered her 12 to 18 months. And she's not 18 months yet. Um, so, these are 9 to 12 months and these will fit her for sure. And... I also did order like these little lights that are going to go inside the centerpieces. So whenever it gets dark, every centerpiece is going to light up. Super cute. And then um, I also did order two candles. I ordered two candles. One for the day of her actual birthday party, which is this one. Because it has the little crown and it's a glittery gold candle. So it can stand out because the whole cake is already going to be pink. And then I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to see if I can open it. But I also did order like a pink candle for the day of her actual birthday tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Um, so we can put it on the cake. But look, it's the number one. Super cute. Um, I came in this little box. Not sure why, but yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome or welcome back. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I am not looking my best. So last night, I was supposed to take a full body and hair shower. I'm literally running on like four hours of sleep, y'all. And I am so tired. I did not get enough sleep. But that's because I have a teething toddler pretty much already. Because tomorrow's my daughter's birthday. So tomorrow she'll officially be a toddler. So I have a really bad teething toddler. Or I don't or I don't know if this is like a phase where they're about to transition from babies to toddlers. I'm not sure what is going on, but yesterday my daughter was having a hard time falling asleep. But anyways, y'all, tomorrow is my daughter's first birthday. I am, oh my God. I don't even want to think too, think too deeply about it because I know I'm going to cry for sure. I'm going to cry regardless. I'm going to cry. But, um, so the plan was for me to go by myself to go buy a few things I want, you know, so for her to wake up to tomorrow because I have a whole day planned out tomorrow for her birthday. And that's why I'm also trying to catch up on chores today, get everything done because tomorrow I don't want to do chores. I don't want to clean. Tomorrow's my daughter's big day and I'm trying to make it as special as I can for her. I know she will never remember this day well tomorrow, but she will never remember it, but I will. I will, and I'm going to capture every single little moment. I'm just so happy, y'all. So, um, yeah, so I want to go to Party City and get, like, balloons for her and stuff like that. And I also want to go to Nothing Bun Cakes and get her a cake and a little mini cake for so I can sing happy birthday to her tomorrow in the morning. And then in the afternoon, my parents and I guess my in-laws are coming, and that's whenever we can all sing happy birthday to her and cut her cake. And then this upcoming Saturday, it's her birthday party. Hopefully, if it doesn't rain, because if it does rain, I'm going to have to cancel it and postpone it for the following Saturday, you know. So, yeah. Also, I want to take a shower today. I was going to shower last night, but like I said, my daughter was having a hard time going to sleep. So, I just skipped my shower. And that's just the reality of motherhood, y'all. Sometimes, you have to skip certain things because, you know... And I don't really complain about it, you know, because I'm like, okay, like, you know, like, I got to be patient with her. She's my daughter. At the end of the day, she's going to grow up one day. She's not going to depend on me one day. And it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's so hard. I feel like it just doesn't get, I mean, it gets easier, but at the same time, it doesn't really get easier. I don't know. Maybe moms out there can relate to me, but 
when they're newborns it's hard because of the sleepless nights when they're crying you don't know what's wrong with them or they're having colics they're fuzzy but you know they're newborns you know they can't really express how they feel besides crying and um i feel like now that she's gonna be a toddler like whenever she throw she's throwing fits or the day she's just not having it like right now she is teething okay y'all so um i left the house like an hour ago but I got my baby girl's cake. So I called and they said they did have strawberries and cream. And once I got there, they did not have it anymore. Someone else bought it. It's completely okay. I got the 10 inch red velvet one. I really wanted the strawberries and cream one because I'm like, I'm pretty sure everyone loves strawberries and cream flavor. I'm not sure about red velvet, but then my daughter loves it and it's her birthday. So it's okay. My daughter and I love it. So I did get her a mini cake, like the little one, the little buntlets. Is it? Is that how it's called the little buntlet cake um just so i can just put a little candle and sing to her happy birthday at 12 a.m and then i did get her like the little um um flower topper so it can make the cake look cute and not too plain but yeah i just left nothing but cakes like 10 15 minutes ago and i don't know if y'all could see but i'm actually parked outside of party city y'all because i'm gonna get some balloons for my baby girl but it's so crazy because she just fell asleep. So my daughter just fell asleep. I don't know if y'all can see her. But yeah, she just fell asleep. So I'm going to have to wake her up so we can go to Party City and get a few things I need for her birthday tomorrow. Also, I just left Party City. Look at my passenger seat. I got the rose gold number one. And then there's a huge box. Yeah, my car right now is super cluttered. It has so many things. I have so many things in here. But I'm just trying to put this down so I can see me when I have to turn right. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to move this. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start heading straight home, y'all. Baby girl's currently drinking her bottle. I'm going to start heading straight home because the guy told me not to leave the balloons in here for too long. Especially because it's hot or else they're going to pop. But let's go home. Okay, y'all. So it's like... Um, a few hours later well like two hours later baby girl's currently she has been napping for like the past hour and a half and that gave me plenty of time i took a shower as y'all can see my hair's wet i took a shower i took a full body in hair shower so i already have my daughter's cake in here the red velvet cake and then i got her this little strawberries and cream cake so i could sing happy birthday to her either tomorrow in the morning or if she stays up to 12 a.m which i don't think so i might sing to her happy birthday today at 12 but i'm gonna sing to her happy birthday tomorrow in the morning and this is her cake for tomorrow because my parents are coming over so we can all sing happy birthday to her and my in-laws might come so i bought the 10 inch because they have an 8 and a 10 inch i got the bigger one just in case my in-laws do come if they don't come it's okay then um, I just keep the rest of the cake, but yeah. And also, I just cleaned my dining area. I cleaned my daughter's high chair, but here I have the balloons. Yeah, I did not know Party City charged a dollar for a bag just to put the balloons in a bag so they won't fly it away. Um, but yeah, I paid a dollar for that bag. For that bag, but yeah, I'm gonna make a TikTok later today, like a POV the night before my daughter's first birthday. I just cannot believe you. I went by so fast. And I feel like I'm going to cry. I feel like I'm going to cry. Like, I'm already... Oh, my God. I just don't want to think about it too much. But tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow's the day my daughter turns one. And it's so crazy because today, exactly a year ago, I got induced at the hospital. So, right now, exactly a year ago, I was going through it, y'all. I was having contractions. I was in labor for 38 hours. Um... It was not fun, but let me just say it was worth it and I'll do it all over again for my daughter. Um, but yeah, anyways, before I start tearing up over here, but I got her the rose gold number one. I got the last one. Thankfully, they had one. It was the last one. And then I got in, um, in total 12 balloons. I got six white and six pink, like baby pink color. And then I'm going to set them up. I think I'm going to set it up over here. I'm just going to clean this mess around my husband has. I'm going to set it up over here. Um, and then I did buy her like a happy birthday banner. It says happy first birthday. And then I got her a really cute outfit from Shein. So yeah, tomorrow's my baby girl's big day. She will officially be a toddler. 
and I am not okay, y'all. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I don't know if it's tonight, but I am such an emotional person sometimes. Like, I am, yeah, I just feel like I'm going to cry, y'all. But, yeah, this is it. Okay, y'all, so, Anatin Bon Cakes, they gave me, like, this little flower topper. Y'all, this thing was $7, just to, a little flower topper to add on the cake. Um, but I got this at Party City. It's his happy first birthday. Super cute. It's gold glittery. And then I got some plain pink plates. And then with the pink forks. And then I got this happy birthday banner from Shein. But I think I'm just going to use that one. And I'm just going to save this over. I don't know. Maybe my birthday. And then I did get this thing for a high chair. This is number one. I just wrap it around her high chair. And then I got this um, plain pink um, table cover. Is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I got this candle for her little cupcake.